Hello and welcome, my name is Minturis and welcome to a new episode of Stoneheart. If you're a regular on this channel and you've seen more of my Stoneheart videos, you might be wondering what is he doing in the desert? Well, after building the farm, I had a lot of trouble. I've got myself, uh, we've gotten attacked and well, let's show me show you what happened there. So I guess we are going to start all over and we're going to try hard mode in the desert and we are going to build it a bit more defensible than we've done the last time. We've also going to scale up a bit and do a little bit less on the building part but getting our city up and running. We've got a beautiful statue here. I, I really adore that one. And I got a perfect, I think, defensible location with... Uh, the mountain we are first going to focus on this section here building our house building a farm and building walls around it because I don't want to have to well restart all over again I guess we're going to make some kind of entrance in this section to the village but we'll have to see first thing first we've got to kind of fix this because that kind of looks stupid we've gone with the farming and the first thing we are going to build is a house and well i kind of want to get go with the standard house the standard clay house and uh, well there are many to pick them dining halls there's a house for two a dormitory and a little clay house let's let's see how this one looks because they do look beautiful, those houses. But, well, I kind of want to get all the stuff out of the way, but we'll have to fix that soon enough. Let's, let's first build ourselves a stair up to the top. Change that little thing around. And make ourselves a little stair up to the top. Putting this one. Because you do need to go up there. And the same is for this one. Putting it back. <coughs> and that way it's perfect. And well, let's build that one. And we are going to need to have some mine some stuff kind of annoying that it's not just the way I want it to be that's kind of annoying all right well we'll see we're going to clear it all out in the end make this all beautiful and straight because that's what I want it to be let's first mine it and let's start 
Let's make our villagers work. <clears throat> Most things are going to be out of clay, so that's that should be kind of easy. Did I already put the ball pot? Yes, we need clay bricks. We only need three clay bricks. That's not much. We need to promote one of our guys to this clay specialist, and I kind of want to. Well, I kind of don't mind anyone being. The clay specialist. So let's change the job and let's make ourselves a clay specialist. We can also make a farmer. We really need one. And you are going to be our clay girl. All right, look how she takes the clay. A determined looking Phoenix Fox approaches, carrying in the shout a letter, such which each is gonna caravan. Official mailer stitch onto it. She drops by. Town standard and settle down, looking expectantly open it. Dear Caravan 92, thank you for volunteering to establish a new outpost. So, for. In the west. Well, uh, well, I guess we're in the west. I didn't know that, but we're in the west. And I guess this is kind of the standard thing. All right, well, yeah, we agree. We need to make a name. Deso, Desotonia. Tonia. Tonia. This is going to be our banner. And I'm not, well, crops are interesting. But I am going for the ore because I do know ore is going to be kind of hard. And we are going to be happy and have some firework. All right, so that's the start of this new outpost. And this outpost is going to be totally about defending. All right, I'm going to cut out some the mining parts. Wonder if I can. Yes, we can. And you guys are going to have a party. That's good for you. I guess we kind of need a storage place for the moment and I know in the last episode we had just a little area and well we are going to do it kind of the same way just speeding it up and let's now make our first clay thing craft <coughs> oh you can make a herbal stuff a mason clay and a practice sword of clay. How interesting. You can make a lot of stuff. Damn. Way more than the stone masonry. That's kind of interesting because this guy can make a lot more stuff than we could. Alright, so you can make a lot of stuff. But the first thing we do need is an oven. We're going to put it next to this area. That way we can start building stuff. Uh, we kind of need clay pile. Amount of clay. Let's pause the game a little bit because I need to get this straight right away. Um, we are building. This one needs clay bricks. We don't have clay bricks. So how am I going to make clay bricks? Split blocks, that's going to need wood. Pottery wheel. 
And there it is, clay bricks. Recreates a pottery kiln. What's, oh, that's that thing. Yes, all right. So now we can make, we should be able to make clay bricks. And we need any kind of fuel. I want unlimited supply. An unlimited supply, and I guess that's going to be this crafting. But we do need some wood for that. So let's start with harvesting this because I do think these things are going to give us wood. At least I hope they are giving, going to give us wood. And then we can also slowly make. This is kind of annoying because I need to mine a lot of areas. Because I want it to be all quite straight. All right, so we get fuel, we've got a little bit of wood, but we're definitely going to need, need coal and coal is in this area. We need a storage area. We need a lot of stuff. As you can see now, we've slowly making our way up there and that way we're going to build and remove everything, making it all quite straight. We're not going to prioritize on the housing first. We're going to try and focus on farming and leveling all things up. This is how I want it to be. Alright, what just happened? We've started another party. Nope, we didn't. Alright, at least we got enough clay for us to work. Apparently, in addition to the letter, Arc Such contains a small satchel full of coins labeled outpost founding. 50 gold, all right, thank you, Foxy. And I guess you are going to go again, yes, as usual. All right, so this is going to be, I guess, the first area. Lucky we get some copper here and some iron, but especially the copper is needed to upgrade our What's your problem? Are you guys kind of stuck, I guess? Let's pause a little bit because I guess you guys are stuck. Uh, we can't have that. That way you guys can get down from there. Once I clear this area, we are going to build our first house in this area. Because we had five halflings and they do need to be able to Sleep a little bit. Can we do that? Oh, how perfectly. Now that area's gone, and we are going to build our first house. 
just the way I want a daily update well that's too bad can we move this one because I kind of need to move it kind of need to move a lot of things if we want to build our first house there <clears throat> I wonder if the enemies is going to be able to go through the water. If they do, we are kind of in trouble because I have to build a wall all around this to defend ourselves a little bit. The idea is to build a way and entrance in this section and that way we can shoot the enemies from above. That That's kind of my thought, how I'm going to be able to defend this. All right, we need to mine. This is kind of annoying. I want to go down. Well, we'll be able to do it that way. And let's see how the first houses is going to... What's this? Alright, kind of neat. An Ishkan agent approaches. Haha, there's nothing like the sight of brand new outposts. With hard work, this desolate place will soon have a nexus of wealth and prosperity. We'll be back tomorrow. With the whole store, but in the meantime, here is some starting. Alright, so we get some nice little stuff. I like that. But I was wondering how much room does one house take in this? Because I want to build kind of basic house. Not a dining house. House for two is not going to be it. But this is kind of the smallest house I can get. Uh, we're going to turn it around yes that that's how i want it and as you can see there's a spot for four houses and i need to put it one back but that will be done pretty quickly all right so and maybe we're going to build two of these houses now let's fix this and that and then we got kind of the sleeping place ready in the meantime, we're going to just uh, clear everything out just the way we want it to be. And I guess we're also going to harvest these houses. And I kind of need more trees. So we also need to plant those trees. And these are can be grown into giant tree plants. So I'm going to also focus... Because I guess this section is kind of dry and I'm not going to get unlimited unlimited trees. So yeah, we do need to keep an eye on that one too. Alright, now I'm going to move you. Uh, move item. Uh, we're going to move you to that spot. And I also want to move you because it just looks kind of stupid being on one of those trenches. Can we also move the flag? I don't know. No, we can. Because then I'm going to move that up here as soon as I got a little bit more defended. All right, now that that's all done and done, let's harvest this last tree. And we get those seeds are being planted. So these are growing slowly. Can we plant it? I, I guess they are planted now. Well, we'll see if a tree grows out of them. <laughs> I'm not sure. I've never tried that before. Now, for our first house, we are going to build a simple, simple dormitory. So they can sleep. That's the most important thing. And it can be placed nicely to this, right? And let's build it. <coughs> and I am already seeing some problems. We got the wall clay lamp, I guess. But I'm not quite sure if you can produce all of everything. Can you? Uh, 
need a pottery wheel. All right, so we can, but then we need a pottery wheel. All right, we got stuff for that. A pottery wheel. We can make a pottery wheel. Um, let's put that on top. That way, I can put that next to that. <clears throat> All right, and let them see they're building their first big house. Well, it's not a big house, but at least it's it's a small little house. And this time, I'm totally focused on defending hard mode. I did underestimate that hard mode a bit, quite a lot, I think. And I also learned a lot of new stuff like uh, the farming parts needs water. Uh, we didn't have any water in our last area, so yeah, we are going to change that. Look at these, this all looks pretty nice. We can build some pretty nice buildings on these sections. We can make castles, defending our outpost. And this is going to be kind of the main area with one, I think one big tower on top of this. And we're also going to do naming in this section. So if you want to be named, I finally know how. Oh, they're kind of all sleeping. Well, let's speed it up. I'm definitely going to name. We're going to name this first one. Just because we can name. Character sheet. And this one is being called Drosnik. Yes, this is going to be Drosnik. Just because I've learned from her in from her in the le, her little let's play with Blissful Kitty how to name people. I didn't know. I didn't couldn't find out. So, Drosnik, this is you, and we've got ourselves a little Drosnik pottery. So the next one, the next one that's going to be named. Do we have some more ladies? Because I need one more lady. Yes, we have. You look like a lady. Can we see if there are ladies or not? Because this one definitely looks like a lady. But I need to find them a job first. So I already know the next one that's going to be named. But I want to really, really know that it's going to be... Oh yeah, I needed to place the wheel. I really need them to have a job, and that way... Ooh, we got some nice animals here. Looks kind of cute. <clears throat> now, Drosnik should be able to make everything we need. Required omnet. Requires level 2. Aren't you level 2 yet? Come on, come on. Well, maybe she's going to level slowly. Oh, she's already level two. Daily update. And we are getting a new. So I guess we're going to build a second house next to this one. And the next episode we're going to build, so remove everything here. And that way we got space to build a real pottery house. Trading caravan comes, we can get some wood. Well, we're not going to need that at the moment. No, so we're all waiting for Drosnik to finish everything up. That way... I guess in the meantime they can clear this section. And we got a lot of clay.
look how nice this looks. <clears throat> so we moving them and this is kind of funny you guys can't get off I guess it's all this for problems is with this guy. You move. No, I can't teleport you. That's quite annoying. Hmm, how am I going to do this? Well, let's see. I know one way. Uh, only problem is it's it's a little bit of work. Come on, you got to move. <laughs> I got them all stuck. Oh my god, this is horrible. This one is really stuck. Let's pause the game a little bit and let's try and get that one out of here. Alright, if this doesn't work, I don't know it anymore. Alright, that's one way to do it. <clears throat> Uh, as you can see, you need to be quite careful. What's this? Bone material. We found a skull. Alright. I really want to have this house finished. Non level requirement. Why can we. Oh, we need fuel. We need more trees. Well, we can fix that. We can fix the tree problem. Right, one more tree is coming down, and after that one, we'll be able to finish the windows in this house, and that's going to end the first episode. So if you want to be named, and uh, yeah, if you want me to build anything special, put it in the comment down below, but do remember, I am going to focus on the defense first a little bit. I was wondering what this was. A large cactus, all right, then I know, that's a good thing to know. 
Drosnik has level up to level 3. Drosnik achieved a pottery level 3. Journeyman knowledge. When inspired strikes, the pottery may now craft an especially fine quality of item. Alright. <clears throat> Got a few more windows to put in. Drosnik, you need to work a little bit harder. As you can see, these trees are being regrown. That's a good thing. Invaders approaching. Oh my god. How was this going to happen? I have no defense anything. We're going to destroy those little cactuses. And links. Don't want my village to die. This soon. All right, they did pretty well their first defense, but I do need to focus on getting my defenses up and running. So I am going to think building a, some kind of wall in this section and uh, building the forms outside the wall. This is going to be one hell of a thinking plan. At least we get plenty of clay. Kind of annoying that I need to build a ladder for the last. All right, and the house is done. Daily updates. We are going to get one extra villager. And welcome to the start. And thank you all for watching. I am going to get myself a practice sword. Can buy that. Can we sell anything that can make us uh, some money? Yeah, we can sell the clay, but we're not going to do that now. All right. Thank you all and look at the start. This is a perfect start and I hope this village is going to be a little bit stronger, but I'm also going to focus on that a little bit more. So thank you all for watching. I mean, if you got any tips, tricks, comments, put it in the comment down below and uh, well, see you all in the next hard lane.